everyone, my name is Kyle and this is my first video. I made this channel, Nature and Shit, and basically it's a saying I say daily, every day. I go on a lot of adventures, identify plants, tell you what they can be used for, what to eat, what not to eat. I like to cook with plants that I find in the wild. I guess I'm a bit of a forger. Anyways, this channel is going to be about adventures I go on. Just come along, let's get lost together, let's find plants, let's learn about plants, and yeah, we'll see what happens. I want to do some explaining different uses of plants, I want to do some cooking with plants. There's a lot nature can provide for us. We don't need half the stuff we get in the grocery store. You can just come out and basically live off of the land. So that's what this channel will be about. Today we are heading into the Nesbitt Provincial Forest up in, you want to say northern Saskatchewan, depending where you are, but it's on your way to Prince Albert heading north. So we're going to head up there. I have to do a drone shoot. I have a drone business on the side, so I'm doing a shoot for a lady doing a, a book trailer. She's publishing a book, so... I'll link her Facebook stuff down below as well if you want to check it out. She writes true crime stories and she's relaunching her first book, so give her some support down below. And yeah, we're going to go into the Nesbit, see what we can find, see some cows. Anyways, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, it'll be fun. Just finished up doing a video shoot for my friend Kate. And now we are going to explore the forest because you know what? You might as well. It's perfect out here. Got my shoes off already. Ready to step on the earth. Why do I feel the urge to take that blank sign down and rewrite it? It says Nesbit Provincial Forest. Super faded. And yes, I was in the ditch. Don't judge me. So beautiful. This isn't even the thick part, this is just the beginning. We're gonna keep driving here and uh, up ahead there's a Texas gate in Saskatchewan. Should change the name, it's a Saskatchewan gate. The Nesbitt Forest, this part of the Nesbitt Forest is a uh, uh, community pasture, so there's cows in there and there's some cool purple flowers. Oh, I know it. What's the name? Can't think of it right now. Anyways, keep going down this road. My favorite, favorite spot just to sit is coming up here right away. I'll show you guys. Oh yeah, never mind. It's a ways away. I'll show you guys when I get to it. All right, guys, just around the bend here coming up to it now. I'm gonna get some drone footage of it as well and I'll post it after this clip. But we're almost here. I always park off on this little quad trail here. Right here. Look at that. Probably should take my kayak out there. Texas Gate. All right, I'm gonna do some drone footage now. See ya. All right, we're coming up to the Texas gate here into the pasture. When you're driving over this, go slow for your vehicle's sake and also, we don't want to wreck the other people's property. There's a little creek. This, this usually in the spring, there's runoff that goes through here and it, it goes down a little, little, little waterfall, but it sounds really cool in the spring. And then lots of quadding trails. You got quads or, there's snowmobile trails here too, but lots of quad trails, so load them up. If you need directions to the best place to park your stuff, well, let me know. I know this forest pretty well. 
All right, we are coming up to a group of cows. So yeah, if you're gonna drive through the Nesbit here, through this community pasture, please go slow. Especially at night, cow's eyes don't glow, so. Respect the animals, don't yell at them, don't try and get out to pet them. Let the cows be cows. Anyways, this is another one of my favorite spots. We're gonna get a drone shot of this too. I wanna fly in through the trees there. Anyways, we've got Bessie out here, big old Bessie. Some little calves. So we're gonna turn around here so we're not bugging them too much. But yeah, there will be cows on the road, so please drive safe. All right, so we're gonna wait a second here to film this spot. We got a curious bull coming in, so. I'm gonna wait, let him do his thing, and go from there. Let's see if I can. Right beside my vehicle here. Might have to come back. He looks like he's going down into the meadow there. All right. Into the forest. Some cows getting some shade. Oh, this little guy looks like he might be lost. Multiple ranchers have cattle out here. They're all tagged and coded so they know whose is whose and they just roam free. They got Forget how many acres of land, but there's a lot of forest out here, so. All right, guys, this is how the forest works. Just drive whatever you want. This, this is an open pasture area. I come a lot, so I'll park here, and there's a nice trail you can walk down over here, so. Ooh, sounds like I need new brake pads. Anyways, we're gonna do a fly through of this path here. All right, so we're just driving down. This is called Jack Pine Trail. It's a sand road. So we're getting to the end of the forest and onto um, the grid heading towards Duck Lake. Well, it's a swamp area. I'll show you sometime. It's best in the spring, but you can make a really good dish out of the root of a cattail. So we'll do that in an episode. Anyways, this is the sand trail that leads into the forest. I didn't videotape much in the forest. My phone started overheating because it is hot out today. So I threw it underneath the seat into the AC for a bit. And yeah, I'm just doing the sand road here. Driving along, taking in all the beauty. All right, if you're like me, you see things when you drive. Plants, that is. And today, two plants that I've seen on the side of the road right here. These little shrubs here, just starting to grow, just little babies. That's uh, raspberries. Yep. A couple of years, these things will be big, and you'll have wild raspberries to pick. And they're all along, lots of them. And then the next thing, the other one that's really cool, that you find in the wild. Some of you guys will know what this is. Come on, comment below before you continue the video. White sage, used for incense. Cleanse your home. You dry it out, and then you burn it. Beautiful, beautiful plant. Lots around here too. All there, there's more down that way. 
Yep. I, I could live out here. This is just great. All right, so we're coming to the end of the Jack Pine Trail. I'll show you how to get here. Some horses relaxing in the sun. Okay, so. <sighs> if you're coming from Saskatoon area, or that's that way, you head north. When you get to Duck Lake, you turn in by the Black Hawk gas station and head west. And then when you get to Main Street, you will turn right and you'll be heading north again. So, okay, so let me just do a whip around here. So you head down the grid road, heading north, and then you will get to, one sec. You will get to this. So you can curve off that way and you'll head towards Wingard. Cool place to go if you've never been as well and cross the ferry there. Jack Pine Trail is straight. Go straight, follow the whips and winds of the sand road and you'll enter the Nesbitt Forest. So you'll be right dab in the middle of the community pasture. You can go right, you can go left. There's more to see if you go right. If you go right and you keep following that road, you'll come out at McDowell, Saskatchewan. Anyways, we are heading back towards Vrostern. So, I guess this is probably gonna be the end of the video, so thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for our next nature and shit adventure.